Oh, wait, Jennifer. When you were in England, did they talk about, did you talk to anybody about there's a shortage of truck drivers and the gas price, the natural gas prices are supposed to go up a lot? Yeah, so they, this is uh, certainly in England, but Europe wide. England is in a funny position where they have a shortage of, of, of power. I don't know how many people know this, but I discovered in my trip to Great Britain that uh, the British, I, this is almost, you know, it's hard for me even to say it's so unthinkable uh, from an historical perspective. The English actually import power from France, um, uh, you know, in underground, underground cables under the channel, uh, because the French are relatively rational when it comes to energy. And they, I think 80% of all their electricity comes from nuclear power. They have excess and they sell it to the Brits. So Britain is actually dependent on the, on the French uh, for power. Uh, there is a natural gas shortage. Um, there are problems with, uh, with, with getting LNG. Europe generally is in a position where they hugely and increasingly reliant on, on Russia for uh, natural gas. Uh, natural gas, in spite of the fact that you could frack in England, England has vast natural gas reserves uh, that you would need to frack in order to get to. There is massive resistance within England for any fracking. They are more and more relying on what Alex Epstein calls unreliable energy sources like wind. They have these huge wind farms in the North Sea. Uh, but as we know, sometimes the wind doesn't blow. And as we also know, how do you store all that energy? Even when the wind blows, you have to use it immediately because you can't store it. Uh, battery technology is way too expensive. So yes, Europe generally is going to be experiencing massive increases in energy prices uh, and, uh, and, and real problems, uh, shortages, particularly in the winter. Uh, they're expecting significant shortage, shortages of natural gas um, and an increased reliance on the Russians for energy and for national gas, which is not a good idea. Again, lots of um, natural gas in Europe to be fracked, lots of resistance for fracking, which is playing into kind of the geopolitical, the geopolitical nonsense. Uh, Germany uh, has uh, uh, now expanded its um, solar panel energy collection. When the sun shines in Germany, they get a little bit of electricity from the solar panels. If you've been to Germany, you know it doesn't shine very often. Um, it, generally, Europe, Europe is insane when it comes to these. The, the, you know, the one country that is um, other than France, that is, uh, but even better than France is Finland. Finland is massively invested in nuclear power. Anybody, anybody want to guess why Finland? Why is Finland the most responsible and the most invested in nuclear power of all the European countries? Anybody know the- In European? the winter. Well, I think it's because it's in the winter. It's, it's cold in Sweden as well, but why Finland? What, what, is, hmm. what is it about Finnish history that wants to make, one, uh, that they want to make sure that they are energy independent? It's something to do they with Russia, because of Russia. Russia. They hate Russia. Yeah. This, they, they fought wars with Russia. They've exchanged a territory with Russia. They do not want, they do not want to depend on Russia. So they are, they are expanding their nuclear capabilities. They're expanding their ability to generate power from nuclear. Um, Norway, which has vast uh, uh, oil fields and natural gas fields in the North Sea, um, is, is trying to go carbon neutral, but, you know, I, if they don't invest in nuclear, how are they going to do that? They don't have exactly a lot of sunshine in Norway, except in the summer, maybe a little bit. And um, yeah, I guess the wind blows periodically, but that's not going to that's not going to uh, solve the problem. So um, nuclear is a solution which everybody is avoiding. Uh, Germany is shutting down their nuclear power plants. Germany prices are already double what they were before uh, Germany shut down their nuclear power plants. Prices for electricity. Um, and uh, again, there are going to be shortages. There's likely to be shortages in the winter. We're likely to see uh, people potentially dying of cold. Uh, they'll probably blame global warming for that. Um, but, uh, but it's going to be, the cause of it is going to be the lack of investment in reliable energy 
technologies. And, uh, uh, you know, the Brits, uh, the Brits, are, don't forget the British government. The British government is dominated, um, is, is basically a, a conservative government. They, they have over 50% of parliament. They can pass any laws they want. They can do anything they want. What do they want? They want to go solar and uh, wind. In England, have you ever seen the sun in London? I, you know, I actually the last the the four days I was in London it was the best weather I've ever had in London. It 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 the sun was shining three and a half of the four days, but that's very unusual. Anyway, it's insane. Europe is is completely nutty uh, when it comes to climate change. It's the number one issue. Nobody disagrees with it. That is the everybody's falling in line. The conservatives completely falling in line around climate change, around unreliable uh, energy sources. It's another reason to believe that um, uh, you know Europe is is ultimately in long term decline. But then the question is, who isn't in long term decline? Uh, we can talk about China, U.S. I mean, every the whole world seems to be in this long term decline. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support. Or go to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making an appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.